Hello everyone, how are you? This is everything I got at Nail Tech event of the Smokies, including my swag bag. I did show you this in my last video, so if you wanna go look at it, go look at my vlog so you can see everything that is in here. So this video is just gonna be everything but my VIP bag. So without further ado, let's see what I got. I do have one item I wanna show you going this way because I did buy a sweatshirt. This sweatshirt is from Designer Nail Products. They have a huge chunk of apparel. I love their stuff. When I first started, when I first graduated beauty school, I remember seeing them in New York City and they were, their booth was so tiny back then in New York City. And now they have such a big booth. So I love the fact that they've grown so much. And I had a nice chat with the owner, the lady who runs it. So I'm a big, huge fan of hers. And I had to get this the minute I saw this because one, the colors matched my hair. And two, the hoodie has these glitter like sparkle. But this, right here, it's a nice sweatshirt. And since I'm in New Jersey, the minute it's sweatshirt season, I will be wearing this non freaking stop. So I can't wait to put this on. So let's turn the camera around and let me show you everything else I bought. First item we have is from Polish Pinkies Pro. And this year they brought a whole bunch of their stuff of products from um, Stalix Stalix. I want to say usually they have their whole wall of magpie beauty glitters and unfortunately they didn't bring that this year which was kind of sad but they did bring all of this in the stalix pro so i did need cuticle nippers so i had a whole bunch of them out on display so you can see which ones you wanted these are the smart 34 millimeter quarter jaw so let me pull them out as you can see like i haven't even used it yet so this is what they look like so if anyone was interested in these this is what they look like. So it has, I'm not one for a single hinge on the inside. So I like the fact that it's connected here and it has a nice, it really has a nice grip compared to what I'm using right now. Let me show you what I have. One of the nippers that I have, so you can see that this is a single hinge and it rubs up against on the inside and that I'm not a fan of. So you can see the difference between both of them, how this is a single hinge and a double. I do have another double over here and I like more of a double, but this connects in the middle so it doesn't unlatch. And I like that one, but this, I like how it's that like spring action so it opens up better and it's easier grip like on my hand. So I have a feeling that I'm going to like this a lot better than what I'm currently using. So again, it is the Stalix Pro Smart 30 four millimeter quarter jaw. You can see how nice like that blade is and i got three pairs of those total i could have gotten more but for now i got three of those total Next up was southern charm nail supply and she sells products from tracy vincent and i really wanted to try the metallic glaze and this is a 
shiny surface sealant and this is hema free i saw tracy talking about this one time on her live on tiktok and she said she uses this to seal chrome pigment pow um chrome powder foil so anything that has a shiny surface hence the term shiny surface sealant so i wanted to give this a try this is the only thing that i bought there and also this was thrown in so let's see what is in there looks like i got a free metallic gold gel liner now i don't know if this is hema free that is the only thing so i'll have to do a sniff test Ooh, it's a nice color of gold I'll have to ask Tracy if this is Hema Free. That is a nice color gold. Next up, I got something from Johens. It's called a metal stick. This is what it looks like. So it has a pointy end on one side and it has a slanted end here. And then what you do is you buy these and this is a mini files and this is a 10 pack. So these mini files, it's just peel and stick little mini files, almost like a full size file, but you peel these off on the back and then when you're done, you stick them on the end here. So you can use them on your nails. I bought this with the purpose of I'm working on a competition set right now and I needed to get into like the corners of, I needed to get into hard to reach spots on my competition set, like on the underside, like, like in hard to reach spots, like under here and like certain sections where I couldn't get with my e-file or like really tiny, like diamond bits. So I've been using this metal stick from Johens and I absolutely love it. So if you're ever in the market for something like this, definitely give this a try. Nail Flight USA is one of the US distributors for clear jelly stamper. So as you can see, I got some stamping plate. This is the clear sticky stamping polish. I have the white and the black, but I wanted to add the clear to my list. So I got that. And these are the stamping plates that I did get. So let's open them up and let me show you which ones that I got. A couple of my clients were requesting anything to do with fairies. So this is plate CJS295. This is what the plate looks like. This is actually really stinking cute because you have the layering images, but if you don't, one thing that's nice with Clear Jelly Stamper is you always have the layering images. Like here it's two, here you have four images to layer. But if you don't want the layering images, like here you have one, two, three, four, five in to go with the, with the fairy. But if you don't want to go in with all of those layers, sometimes I like just to go in with that top outline. Sometimes that top outline just gives you what you're looking for with, with your nail art sometimes. This is the next stamping plate, CJS H74. So we have some plaid. Now we're going into like fall and Halloween. No, my clients will love this one, especially when I got to like the crescent moons and the black cat and like the crow, the like the spider webs. It's this is definitely up some of my clients like Allie, like 24 seven. We all know we have some clients that like certain designs all year round. And I like with Clear Jelly Stamper that they have certain images that you know you can cater your clients to all the time. So 
one is CJS LC46. This is a steampunk vibe. I saw this and I just had to add this to my collection. Gives it that little like Victorian vibes. I honestly got it because of these little like keys. Like those little like Victorian keys. All of these over here and the keys. I kind of had a, I knew I would have to use these like at some point. And this is the last one, which is CJS LC33. And this is your Egyptian plate. You have your pharaohs and you have everything like. This is everything that is on that plate. So next in my haul is Profiles Backstage. I got a couple things with the Babe line, but I was really there to get these. So these are new with Profiles Backstage. These are their mini sanding bands and their mini mandrels. And I already opened it up and I already used it. Um, as I said, I'm working on my competition piece. So... I got one thing that I needed from Joe Hens to work on my competition piece, and I got these mini sanding bands and these mini mandrels to also work on my competition piece. So this is what they look like. So you have the mini sanding bands, and then this is the mini mandrel. So the mandrel is literally just let me pull out a regular. So this is the regular size mandrel from Profiles Backstage. And this is their mini. So you can see the size difference from one to the next. So that's the regular size sanding band from Profiles. And this is their mini sanding band. So you can see that these are a lot smaller. So if you're ever wondering, if you're not sure if you wanna get something that small, it honestly just depends on what you're doing. Um, I got, as I said, I got these because I needed these for my competition piece. Um, I could see you using something like this if you're doing um full coverage tips all the time because i can see that these would be easier to like etch the underside of the full coverage tips maybe your clients have smaller nail beds so you don't want to use something like this because this is you know too big for your client's nail plate so having the options would be good um these don't go down in grit as finer as the full size so that's also an option just as an fyi like the 180 grit is as fine as they go for right now with profiles but maybe if more people ask they would go down they would ha have a finer option in the future but I did get two packs of these and I did get two of the mini sanding bands from them. Also from Profiles, if you haven't tried it already, if you haven't seen it, they have a new line called Babe and Babe is completely hema free. I absolutely love it. Um, this is the color called a Pink Fire. I have, this is not even open yet. This is what Pink Fire looks like. And it is... It has a slight like, like a golden like sparkle, like shimmer to it. And Babe comes in two different sizes with their jars. For their hard gel, or they call it a structure gel. 
So you have 15 milliliters and 50 just as an FYI. So these are the two different sizes. So if you're not sure what size to get, these are the two sizes. I opted to get the bigger size in the Pink Fire because this is probably my most used color when I use this on myself. Or if I play around like on any new shapes, like I primarily use the babe line on myself and this is what I'm wearing on both my nails and I've been using reaching for pink fire like nonstop. So that's why I just got a bigger one and I freaking love the color. You can see it underneath here and please excuse my hot mess on my cuticles, but that's what pink fire looks like. It's a nice like neutral tone pink, but it has like a nice like golden like almost like a chrome shimmer in there. It's a really, really pretty color. So added three more gel polishes in the line for Babe. So the first one is called Robin, which this one is a true highlighter neon yellow. I mean, <laughs> There you go, that's Robin. And this is what it is swatched out. I already swatched these colors out for you. That is one coat of Robin. And these are pretty much almost like a one coat coverage with these gel polishes. The next one is called Zoe and she is a nice purple color. And that's what she looks like. And that's what Zoe looks like all swatched out. And then the last color is called Paisley. And this one is a fuchsia, like a really nice bright fuchsia color. And once this is swatched out, that is what Paisley looks like. Next up, we have on Vogue. First up, I needed a new bottle of prevention disinfection, prevention disinfectant cleaner. I do use the wipes, but this is their spray. So all of the prevention, whether it's the spray or the wipes, is a one minute contact time. So sometimes when I'm cleaning, depending on what I'm using, sometimes I like to reach for the spray or sometimes I'll reach for the wipes. So I like to have an option of both in my salon. My friend Mary Ellen, who owns Creative Balance, she's the US distributor who sells on Vogue products. She also sells prevention and she also does sell profiles backstage, but at the trade show, she was just selling prevention and on Vogue products. Um, as a little gift in the, the baggies, she was throwing in prevention wipes and a little paint. So the gel color paint that I got from On Vogue was baby pink. This one's upside down, so hopefully it won't spill out. So this is the color baby pink. This is actually a little bit on the brighter side, but this is a actually really nice baby pink color. These are all of the gel polishes that I got and there is one glitter gel in there. I'm gonna save that to last cause you will love the color. So let's look at these six colors that I got. The first one is Blooming Lilac. This is a really nice purple. I just grabbed random colors. This is no, I grabbed colors that I knew my clients would like. Next one is Rogue. Then we have Lemonade. We have Tiffany Blue, which is a little bluer than an actual 
Tiffany blue color. Next up is Paris. When I first saw this, I thought this was gonna be gray because of the color on the bottle. But when you look at it, it's more green. But it's a really gorgeous color. Next up is Adventurine, which this color, I will say if you do this Paris and maybe like a white marbled together, Adventurine, and maybe like a gold mixed in there for a marble. Just saying, just putting it out there. And last one is Diamond Dust. This is a, there you go, nice hollow, holographic, Ooh. oh yeah, that is everything, that is everything I got from Creative Balance. Last but not least, everything in here is from Magic Gel and the U.S. distributor for Magic Gel is Nail Innovations, so let's see what I have. I did get a little free trial kit in here. So this is what is in my free trial kit. More files because I did need them. So which I'm currently obsessed with the Magic Gel files. So this is what I have. I have these are the economy detailer and the economy shaper files so the economy detailer is 180 180 and the economy shaper is 150 150 so i have three packs of files and these will be lasting me for a little bit i needed new brushes for all of my potted gels like my color gels glitter gels shimmer so these are the flawless oval number seven and these are the regular brushes and not the premium. So the premium would have a fancier handle and a cap. So I just got the regular for the time being. And that is perfectly fine. It's just the price difference between one to the other. And so I just got these. I am I know these don't have a cap, but that is perfectly fine. What I'll do is I'll just keep these little clear these little clear sleeves i'll just keep these on the brushes that's it so i got six new of those and i'll mark the brushes on the bottom here so i know which brush is which for each of the potted gels that i have speaking of potted gel I have three more to add to my collection. So I'm growing my Magic Gel Potted Gel collection. So the first one is Silver Styler. So Darcy was telling me that the Styler gels are a little bit on the thicker side. So these are going to be applied thinner, but I could also use these as a really thin liner, like almost like a really thin, like detailed liner. Um, I'll make sure I get the right information and I'll pop it up from like the website and I'll pop it up on the screen as to what like exactly the styler gels are. So this is the silver. And I did swatch this. So let me show you what, this is what it looks like once it's swatched out. And that is one coat of the silver styler. Next up is a gold styler. And that is what the gold is. This is a little bit, in my opinion, more of like going on the color of like an antique gold, not so much like a yellow gold, but it's still a really pretty color gold. So let me show you what 
it swatched out to. Okay, and that is what the styler swatched out to. That's one coat, like one nice thin coat of the gold styler. Next up on the potted gel from Magic Gel, this is number 99. This is Emerald Night. So whatever potted gels I've used, I, I'm, just, I'm just putting it out there. If, if you haven't tried their potted gels, just give them a try. That is Emerald Night. It, it does have more of like a slight blue undertone, but as oh, <laughs> oh, that is, I'm going to show you what it looks like swatched out. And this is what it looks like swatched out. Oh my god, I'm gonna ruin it. I can't, I can't. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, it's spilling, it's spilling, it's spilling. It's spilling. Oh. oh my gosh. Okay, so this looks green and that looks blue, and I'm oh my god, freaking it's just like dying. A, this is the Labrador color, isn't it? <laughs> Last but not least, I did end up getting the second half of the spring collection which is glow so during the spring they came out with two collections this was the second half and this was more of a like almost like a tame neon collection not like 100 percent neon but you'll see the colors when it comes out when i show you they weren't neon but they were almost neon so let me show you what the colors look like this is vivid orange nice like bright orange canary there's a yellow green and most of these are literally a one coat. I said almost all of these are one coat cover coverage. Aqua. Turquoise. It's really gorgeous blue. Okay, you have violet. And you have a neon pink. This is like a neon Barbie pink. Literally, like when I say Barbie neon Barbie pink, like I think 80s neon Barbie pink with this one. I hope you enjoyed my nail haul video. Yes, I know this was a little bit on the longer side. I hope you made it all the way to the end. Everything that I did purchase, either directly from the company or the distributor, everything will be listed down below in the description box. So that way, if you wanna purchase something that you saw in the video that you wanna buy, or if you wanna check out the website everything will be linked below if you purchase anything from profiles backstage i do have a discount code so that discount code is always in the description box of any one of my videos also please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel because any like comment or subscription will help push out my youtube channel and my videos that much further in the world of youtube i hope to see you soon bye